This video is all about the top five reasons that I love living here in the city of Temecula, California. So if you're thinking about making a move here, I think this will be really helpful for you. I'm gonna talk about my favorite parts about living here in the city of Temecula and give you my perspective and hopefully help you decide if this is the right area for you and your family to live in too. So let's go ahead and get into it. Hey guys, hey again, my name is Justin Short. I'm a realtor and team leader for the Short Real Estate team here in Temecula, California and Merida, California. And like I mentioned, this video is all about the top five reasons that I love living here in the city of Temecula. So I had mentioned in some of my other videos that we have lived here in the Temecula Valley for quite a long time. So I've lived here for over 20 years. I actually went to high school out here. And then now we're kind of on the flip side of things where you know I'm married, we have two young kids, we're going through the public school system. And this is really where we plan to live the rest of our lives. So I think it's a great area. It's a great fit for myself and my family. And I wanna to talk to you about you know, our, our favorite parts about living here and why we decided this is where we wanna stay. Um, but before we get into all the info if you can do me a favor if you're liking videos like this please hit like down below please hit subscribe to the channel so we have videos like this that are coming out each and every week uh, we talk about the cities of Temecula Murrieta Menifee we have market update videos we have pros and cons of you know talking about one side of town versus the other or best neighborhoods and worst neighborhoods all types of different stuff so if you want more real estate information and want to watch more real estate videos we have a ton of stuff that we've already posted and we have new videos that are coming out each and every week and then if you have any specific real estate questions, you know, I would absolutely love to hear from you guys. So um, you're going to see all my information down below. You can feel free. You can call, you can text, you can email. Um, I have people that reach out to us all the time and always happy to help answer any questions. And then if you have any specific needs with your real estate search and you want some help buying a house, we would absolutely love to help you do that. So uh, we help people relocate all the time and always happy to, to help and grateful for the opportunity to help you guys and happy to be a good, good resource for you, hopefully. Um, but let's we'll go ahead and get into the into the video here. So um, again, this is about the my favorite parts about living here. You know why we love living here in the city of Temecula. And usually when I have clients that relocate here, you know they, they give us a call and their their first question is, well, hey, do you actually like living here in the city of Temecula? So, the answer is yes, okay? And if the answer is yes, okay, well, what are the things that you like about living here? What are your favorite parts? And that's kind of what this video is about. And without a doubt, my the reason number one and my favorite part about living here and the reason, truthfully, why we do live here in Temecula is because it's an affordable area for Southern California. So right now, the average home in the city of Temecula is right about 800,000. So it goes up a little bit, goes down a little bit, depending you know what month we're looking at, but it's right about $800,000. And the type of house that you can get for that is, I think, I think you can get a lot for your money. So in Temecula, it's gonna get you about a four to five bedroom house, probably about 2,600 to 3,200 square feet, maybe with a pool, maybe with not, or maybe with a in a community that has an HOA pool or, or something like that. But you can really, you can get a lot of house and it's a newer house or probably built within, within the last 20, 25 years. And then if you compare that, that $800,000 house with what you can get in the rest of Southern California, it really, you can get so much more for your money. So most a lot of people that live here um, have either lived in or thought about living in other parts of Southern California so they've come from San Diego LA Orange County and they've moved out here because it's so much more affordable um, because right now for eight hundred thousand dollars in, in San Diego what type of house could you get honestly probably not you can maybe get like a condo in a crummy area or like half a house or like a 1300 square foot house probably in a crummy area right you just really can't get much or out here for 800 grand you can come out you can honestly you can live like a king right you can get this big old massive house that's newer and nice and and even some of the surrounding cities Marietta and Menifee you can get more for your money as well so uh, that that's really the biggest draw about living here is you can be in Southern California and live in a relatively affordable area for sure all right and so the second reason that we love living here in the city of Temecula is that we are here in Southern California and we were, are within about an hour from all that Southern California has to offer so although we are we would definitely be considered like the you know the suburbs uh, we're definitely not in like a downtown San Diego area or anything like that we are in the suburbs we're about an hour away you know drive time from 
from those from those areas. But because where we're at, we're pretty centrally located. You know, it's Temecula is just north of San Diego County. It's a little bit east and south from Orange County. It's a little bit south and east from LA County. Uh, we are a little bit south from the mountains and we're a little bit west from you know the actual desert like the Palm Springs area. So we're, we're pretty central location with you know everything else that Southern California has to offer. So because of that we're about an hour trip to all those different things. So if we want to go to Southern to downtown San Diego it's about an hour drive. If we want to go to the zoo in downtown San Diego it's about an hour drive. If we want to make a, a trip out to the beach it's about a 45 minute minute to an hour drive. Um, if we want to make a trip to most parts of Orange County, it's about an hour drive. Um, if you want to go to LA, it's probably a little bit farther. It's probably closer to an hour and a half or so, you know, depending how traffic goes. Uh, if we want to make a trip out to the desert and go out to the Palm Springs area, that's about an hour. And if you want to go to the mountains, it's a little bit farther. It's probably, it's closer to like a two and a half hour drive or so out to the, the actual mountains, like the Big Bear Mountains. Um, but we're, with where we're at, we feel super central and we feel like any of those things we want to do are pretty pretty within range and we can make an easy easy day trip to out, out to do that stuff like for example this weekend my wife and I we're gonna go out to a concert um, it's in, out in San Diego and it's just it's an hour drive to go down to a, a big arena down in downtown San Diego and you can make the drive out there and plan your trip back and it's it's easy to do right it's all still pretty accessible and again we can live up here in a much more affordable area have a nicer house have a bigger house get more for your money but still experience all that other cool stuff that Southern California has to offer or like we used to go to the beach a lot and so it was easy to make that day trip out it's an hour each way you get to spend the rest of the day at the beach and it's to totally doable to, to take your family all right so the third reason that we love living here in the city of Temecula is really just all about the weather so 10 months out of the year Temecula has awesome awesome weather it's super it's super nice outside we don't get very much rain I think on average we get like 12 to 14 days of rain per year so not not very much right I mean Southern California it's probably you know pretty stereotypical for that right not not a ton of not a ton of rain um, but between October till June, the weather is super, super nice here. So on average, it's right around 80 degrees, 80, 82, 84 degrees, right around that range. So it's a little bit on the warmer side, just a little bit of rain. Uh, in the middle of winter, when it's supposed to be super cold, it cools down to like, I don't know, 58 degrees or so on average. So for me, that's freezing cold, right? For most people in other parts of the country, that doesn't sound cold at all, right? Uh, but the, the there are two months, so the months of August and September that are super, super hot. So that's kind of the downside where the, it gets super hot. Um, you definitely get heat waves over 100 degrees. On average, it's like a 91, 92 degrees is, 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 how, is how that sorts out. But you get those heat waves over 100 and it can be, it can be pretty miserable during the day. Um, so everyone out here does have central air. You must have air conditioning, especially when it's over 100. You got to be able to crank it up and, and cool down. Uh, what is nice is at night it does cool down a lot so we get a really nice breeze it kind of it takes the heat away and it makes it pretty pretty nice if you go outside but that doesn't happen until you know five o'clock six o'clock at night in, in the middle of summer but so that, that I guess that's the downside but the other 10 months of the year the weather is really really nice again not very much rain and and that, that's really when you're gonna get to, to do everything that you want during the day all right, so the fourth reason that we love living here in the city of Temecula is all about the school district. So the Temecula Valley Unified School District is super, super highly rated, and it's a big reason that people want to live here in the area. And you can actually lump in the Murrieta Valley School District as well. Both of them are super highly rated. They're really, really neck and neck. I don't think there's much of a difference whether you're in Temecula or Murrieta School District. Both of them win a lot of awards. I, I think both are gonna be great school districts. Uh, my kids are actually a part of the Temecula Valley School District that just kind of happens to be where, where our house is and you know where we're zoned but I think we would be happy with with either district um, but across the board whether it's elementary school middle school or high school uh, both districts are rate, rated super super highly they all the schools are anywhere from the 7 out of 10 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10 you know depending what website it is that you're you're looking at and then there is one one school out here that is the highest rated which is the Great Oak High School um, that's one of the top 1,000 schools in the entire country. So super, super highly rated. A lot of people will move here just for their kids to go here, just for the, those four years to get a, a part of that education. Um, but really across the board, to, uh, 
Temecula, Marietta School District, elementary, middle, or high school, um, really any of the schools, I think you're going to have a great experience. And you know, that, that's, where our kid, that's where our kids are going. That's one of the reasons we live here, because it's a, it's a good school district for the kids. Um, if you wanted your kids to go to a private school, there are some private school options out here. So there's a, there's a few Christian schools. There's a couple of Catholic schools that are here local. Um, so if you wanted to go that route and wanted maybe a little bit more of like a religious presence or um, other, maybe some other reason that you wanted to go to a private school, you know, there are options there as well. Um, but for us, our kids go to the public schools. Like I said, they're highly rated. I think it's a big draw and it's, it's a big plus about living here. All right, so the fifth reason that we love living here in Temecula is because there are so many different family activities here locally. So with the kind of the season of life that we are in, so like I mentioned, I'm, I'm married, I have two young kids. Um, with, with that, you know, our kids are always with us, right? And we're trying to keep them busy and keep them involved. And we don't, we try not to have them sitting at home on the iPad, you know, 24 seven, right? So we try to get them to do you know, different activities. And we, we've, we've been super, super happy with all the different things that Temecula has to offer. So whether whether that's from sports leagues. I mean, there's multiple soccer leagues locally. There's multiple baseball leagues. There's a couple different football leagues. Uh, there's different basketball associations. There's different, uh, all types of different sports leagues. Um, there are tons of different parks. I think Temecula now has over 50 parks. Uh, Marietta has another 50 plus parks on their side as well. Um, and, and Menifee has like 40 plus. There's a ton of parks here locally. Um, and then the cities themselves, they put on a ton of different events too. And mo I, from, from my perspective, I think they do a really good job of making them you know, family friendly events. So um, whether that's gonna be like uh, fall festivals, whether that's gonna be like trunk or treat stuff, whether that's gonna be ice skating rinks, all, all types of different stuff that the city itself puts on, you know, Easter egg hunting events, all types of cool stuff. And then because the area, you know, tends to be a, a bunch of younger people, right? That a lot of them happen to have kids. The also the private businesses happen to a lot do a lot of different things as well that are pretty family friendly. So. Um, they, again, they put on, like out in wine country, they all types of like concerts and stuff. A lot of them have different, uh, where you can bring your kids and different play areas with the kids, etc. cetera. Um, they have different, you know, ice skating rinks and different, all, fall festival stuff, all types of different stuff. So it seems like every weekend there's always multiple things going on that you can do and you can usually be able to take your kids with, with you there and be able to experience it. Um, let, let you be able to help occupy your kids, bring them with you. You don't have to worry about babysitters. But it, in general, the area just seems to be so family friendly where that's not going to be the case in, in a lot of different areas, right? You might be, if you compare that to like a big city, right? So say you're like in downtown LA or something, well, there's not going to be a ton of those kids' activities, right? A lot of it's going to be adult only stuff or just not kid friendly. Um, but when you are a young parent and you have young kids, right, it's much more convenient to be able to bring your kids to a lot of that stuff and to be able to, to incorporate them. So um, those, are, those are the five reasons that we love living here. And those are the, the reasons that we think it's such a great area to, to live in and to, to raise our family. So again, it's, you know, it's affordable for Southern California. You're th within about an hour from all the cool stuff that Southern California has to offer. The weather is awesome, 10 months of the year, except for the two months where it's super hot. The school district is super, super highly rated. And there's a ton of family friendly activities. So. Hopefully that's pretty good perspective for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, you can feel free to reach out. You can feel free, you can give me a call, you can text, you can email. And of course, we'd love to hear from you guys. Please hit like, please hit subscribe, and hopefully talk to you soon. Thanks.